the question that I once faced was, am I addicted to weed? And if so, should I quit? And this is a common question that I get on my TikTok platform, our YouTube platform, in my DMs. Dr. Frank, how do I know if smoking weed is a problem? How do I know when it's time to quit? And I'm going to tell you exactly the answers to those questions right here in today's video. And then as a bonus, I'm going to give you some of my best advice when it comes to getting through the withdrawal symptoms from cannabis, if you decide to quit at the end of this video. I think there's one central thought process you have to have, or a question, one central question that you have to ask yourself. Are you consuming weed or is weed consuming you? Now, at one point in my life, I was very clearly consuming weed. I would smoke weed with my friends. It was a good time. We'd laugh. We had fun. I didn't really have many financial obligations in my life at this point. So money wasn't a problem. It just, it wasn't a big deal. And weed from both a recreational standpoint and arguably a medicinal standpoint was very beneficial to me. I was consuming cannabis and it was, it was nice. I would smoke maybe once, twice a week for the most part, and it was good. Life was good. This transition occurred, though, to where it went from me consuming weed to weed consuming me. And how do you know when this is happening? Well, if you're starting to smoke more and more, so your tolerance is going up, suddenly smoking once or twice a week or just in the evenings becomes a daily activity, an everyday thing. It's something that you feel like you have to do, like it's a chore. Well, now cannabis is consuming up a lot of your time, right? Weed is consuming your time suddenly. And then you look at your bank account and your money's looking funny. You don't have money to do the things that you want to do, whether it's investing in stuff, buying a car, maybe it's putting food on your table or buying yourself something nice, new clothes or a vacation. And suddenly you don't have money to do those things. Well, this is where weed is consuming you. Maybe you notice some relationships in your life have fallen apart, a relationship with your wife, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, family members, or even close friends. See, when cannabis starts to consume our time, it also starts to consume our relationships. And maybe, maybe you're in a position right now where the only thing in life that motivates you, the only thing that turns you on is cannabis. And if this is the case, that means that cannabis is consuming all your motivation and all your attention to feed that addiction, that cannabis addiction that very well could be developing. I think if you're asking yourself, am I addicted to cannabis? Is, is, is it a problem? The answer is probably yes, because people who don't have a problem very, very rarely find themselves asking themselves that question. And the answer should be obvious. Are you consuming cannabis or is cannabis consuming you? Yes or no? And if it's consuming you, in what ways is it consuming you? Your time, your energy, your relationships, your money, your motivation, your health? Someone suffering from cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome has been, all those things have been consumed. And now their health is also being consumed mentally and physically. Is cannabis consuming your mental and physical health? Yes or no? It's actually an easy question to answer when you think about it just in black and white terms. Now, if you're sitting here and you're going, okay, I am addicted and wow, now I'm a little freaked out by that. I have advice for you when it comes to quitting. You have an addictive voice that lives inside your body. And this is based on the book Rational Recovery by Jack Trimpey, one of my favorite books about quitting addictions. I put a, a link for the book in the pinned comment and in the video description. You have this addictive voice that lives inside you, and this voice is a beast. It's a monster. And it's up to you to kill this voice off, to kill this beast off. That's in your control. That's in your power. So if you start to quit and you start to feel withdrawal symptoms and you start to feel cravings and you start to feel lousy, that's expected for many people. That's that addictive beast dying. That's that addictive beast trying everything it can do to suck you back in. And every little ache and pain you feel when you're going through marijuana withdrawals or whatever it may be, just know that you're winning. You're getting one step closer 
to regaining control of your, your brain, your physical health, your finances, your relationships, your whatever cannabis addiction has taken away from you. The, the, the more you feel it, the more you're winning. And, and, and of course, it's not going to feel good because you're killing that beast off. And that beast doesn't want to die. It wants to live. It wants you to stay addicted. It wants you to keep smoking. So it's going to make a scene when you try and put that thing down. But it's up to you to do that. And what's the easiest way to do that? Just recognize when it's speaking to you and tell it to F off. Tell it to shut up. Tell it you're in control. Recognize when that addictive voice is saying, oh, you want to go smoke again. No, it wants to go smoke again. Oh, you need to go smoke because of the headache and the fatigue and the insomnia. No, I don't. This is me winning. This is that addictive voice dying and I'm going to stay committed and I'm going to see it through. And I guarantee you guys, if you do find yourself in a cannabis addiction and you do try and use that method and I'd highly recommend reading the book Rational Recovery by Jack Trimpey or downloading our free e-workbook or working with myself one on one, I promise you, you guys, you, you, you can successfully quit. Quitting is possible and it doesn't have to be a horrible experience. It can be a very motivating, very confidence building experience if done correctly. I hope this video helps you guys out and let me know in the comments below. Are you consuming cannabis or is cannabis consuming you?